Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day, blah 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 blah, all that good stuff. Um, hell yeah, so I commented out this player that pushed back. I've just been working and just checking, checking a little bit, see what I'm doing. So we just have one player, but at least the other players work with their custom controls. And you can shoot stuff. And that's great. That is great. And uh, yeah, what else are we going to make? Uh, we're going to initialize font. That's something I really want to do. Game, bullet texture, blah, blah. Window, font, font. And in game, gonna go to init font. This font dot load from file font forward slash. Now, what was it called? was cold I think it was this one bam uh, Dios is light so there we go we have a font thingy we're gonna have a UI class I think where we're just gonna get the levels and get stuff player that get position I think we're gonna need player that get position Uh, inline uh, vector 2f get position get position const this sprite get position So we return a position. That's gonna be good because we can print stuff on the position. Game. UI. Let's do UI void UI update in game because we have everything in game already so all the UI is gonna be a little easier to update. UI update Let's uh, do here Update players Bullets update Update UI So in the UI we're gonna do Update UI update this UI update. There we go. Good. Now, player texts. Let's do a player text for player one and uh, Wait, player one HP text. I think players should keep update their own texts. So game doesn't have to keep all of them in one. Uh, player texts. That's that's the thing, like you gotta know where you wanna keep stuff. You know, do you wanna keep everything in player? <clears throat> do you just wanna then you just want to update their text kind of here and yeah I guess I mean but then you have to send in font here and stuff and that's a pain I mean if we just do game font and you just do a vector or player on player texts and follow player texts and then texts that are static so that's gonna be for the players 
So we're gonna do this. Uh, text players and then textures std vector text on player text std vector text static player texts so we're gonna have text that are static on the screen and some text that follow player follow player texts so for follow player this follow wait what is it this game oh here we go game you update this follow player texts dot size and then on player text dot size static player text dot size so this is gonna update all of those we're gonna have another function called void game init texts in it UI actually let's call it void uh, just like that see how quickly just functions just pile up you get a bunch of different ones I want to call it update UI actually update UI and then we'll remove combat update for now to remove clutter. Uh, update UI. And then we'll initialize UI here. Init UI. This init UI. Uh, this players oh there we go this player's size blah blah that's good update UI initialize UI okay so we're going to create some text for a player So, init UI has to happen after this players has pushed back some players. Um, then we're because we're gonna do a for loop. We'll go through players. Dot get size. This players dot get size sorry and we're gonna go through all the players and we're gonna make so if we have one player we're gonna do text temp text temp text dot set crit size 12 temp text dot set color color white and then temp text dot set actually we just need this in update well no 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 set color white temp so this is going to be player one's follow text follow text in it and then we're going to do a, a static text in it for all players they're gonna have their own corners kind of for their level and exp and stuff 
temp text dot set font font this should be done first and uh, temp text dot set string and a this is initialization and then Text follow this follow player texts dot pushback. So this is gonna be at position zero. Pushback uh, temp text. Okay, set string. String player one, two string I. There we go, to make it a little easier. Static init, same thing. Text. All right. Static player text push back. Oh God! Sorry about that, guys and girls. Uh, I'm making a video. Okay, so to update this, this follow player text at position I uh, so we gotta update these so the best way to do that is we can update Let them update their own. The so I is never going to be bigger than the number of players because we add static player and one fall player for each thing. So this is going to be the same as the player size. Set set uh, position position uh, this players dot i dot get position so we're just going to do this and static player text is going to be uh, let's see so we're going to be able to have max players this we don't need to update this just now actually so this follow player text that set string is going to be this follow player text to be two string i string i and plus uh, HP is going to be plus HP is going to be uh, this players that I dot get get HP 
So we're going to have to make some getters for this. Inline const int Or can we just string please string get hp get hps string const return this to string this hp plus plus the std to string this hp max okay that's it so that's a good way to Players dot I dot get HPS string. Is it string? Okay. Boom. So I can see it. Nah. Okay. So it's going to set the thingy for us. We're going to update UI. Okay. Uh, we got update UI. We need a draw UI. Void game draw UI. Mm. Void. Oh, this is player whoops game draw UI we're gonna draw UI last of all this draw UI uh, boom we make a for loop of these things for four players text and then window dot draw this follow player texts dot i god damn it annoying why is this not working window dot draw this window dot draw static player texts okay so that's a bunch of stuff we're bound to have a bunch of errors for end this video as if text temp text uh temp text ah what am i doing dude? okay what am i doing remove this Okay. So that is my HP. Okay. Why am I making this new every time? Uh, there we go. Uh, it's set to that position. Get position dot x Let's play y dot get position so they're not going to be completely directly on it minus like 10 dot f it's going to look a little better they're not going to be directly on the player and then make it a little bigger 14 14 20 or 15 
Let's see. All right, so we got kind of the UI working. Uh, let's do 20 actually. Just one last time. One last time. Okay. So we got player zero. And then 10 out of 10 HP. And yeah. Let me see, set string. I and it should actually be zero. Uh, what if we do this so it's not as confusing? So that's the HP. Maybe we can do a tab, 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 tab. See how that looks. Two tabs, two tabs. All right, skip this. Add another tab. I'm sorry. I, I'm 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 really picky. All right. I need to do this. So that's 10 out of 10. Cool. HP. Who need the mouse? Bam. All right, guys and ghouls. Let me just try off doing this one more time. And make sure that UI works for every player. The UI is working for player one and player zero. So we have kind of a, a dynamic thingy. Bam. All right, guys, girls. Thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something as always. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.